it's so hazy in here. Do you see that? Oh, look at the wall design. Once it gets wet, it's just gonna deteriorate from there. That's the worst thing that can happen to an abandoned place. Here come the police. Why did they stop? What's going on, fellas? I've been back here in the Kansas City area for this weekend, and I've just been going to dud after dud after dud. Hardly anything has been working out, but uh, I've been tipped off that this local abandoned school around this area, I won't say which one, but you know what? There's so freaking many. There's like so many, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Anyway, I've, I've heard that there may be a way into this one, so I didn't see anything obvious when driving by, but I'm gonna go risk it and take a closer look. Hopefully this one works out, and yeah, let's get it. There are people out on their porch. Whenever that happens, I always just keep on walking as if nothing's out of the ordinary. Alrighty, gate's open. I guess that's convenient. Yep, that's a way in right there. Never mind that ice cream truck. Although I'd love to stop and get some. It's cold in here. We, we got it. All right, I'm gonna wear this because obviously it doesn't smell too good in here. The car did drive by when I was kind of obviously right next to the school. That has me worried a little bit, but I'm already in. I'm not just gonna leave now, so. Let's do this thing. Wow, now that is a really impressive furnace room. This ain't even that big of a school. I've never seen one this big. That's crazy. Oh, here's a gym. Holy crap, it's so hazy in here. Do you see that? Just look in the beam of the light. It's ridiculous. It's because it's so moist. Well, this is what's left of a gym anyway. I've never been in one so dark and dingy. Got a little bleachers right there. Look at the old floorboards. They're just buckling. That's what happens in old buildings with wooden floors. Oh, ropes. They did rope climbing activities in here. I would try to climb up them because, you know, obviously you'd want to see me do that, of course, but um, not in this wet, slick, dingy, probably asbestos-soaked room. I just don't feel like touching anything in here. Luckily for me, literally every window in this place is boarded. Like, this is three stories, every single window has a board on it, so I can shine this light wherever I want and I'll be fine. Here's little bleachers. They're pretty small, but it's kind of neat. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Oh. And I forgot to wear my old shoes, so I'm just ruining my good ones. It's an empty classroom. Except for that. That's kind of cool, the cupboards and tables. Oh, look at the wall design. I didn't even notice that. I actually thought it was mold. That's cool, they got dinosaur wallpaper. That's not even wallpaper, that's actually painted on. This is quite the apocalyptic looking hallway, isn't it? Whoa, this whole wall here collapsed. So this is actually the first video in quite some time where I'm actually by myself again. Let me guys know, do you like, uh, do you like the old school ones where I was all by myself or do you like it when I'm with people? I'm fine with either one. With people is fun for me, but um, doing it by myself just kind of helps me really focus on making the video, you know? That's some awesome wallpaper. It just continues all down this hall. Oh, 
Oh, this is the kitchen. It would have had to be. That's some kind of oven. These are lights that would kind of go above. Some trays that would have been here. Look at the floor is like tiled, so yeah. This is for sure a uh, kitchen. Kind of strange how nothing is really left except for the weird stove oven thing over there. This place just creeps me out. I wonder what the odds are when it comes time for me to get out of here, those doors will just open for me. Some doors will open from the inside, but not the out. Look at these cubby holes. This reminds me a lot of the John K. Stark school. That was the first abandoned school I ever did. And I did that one almost a year ago to this day. That's actually a lot of stalls. Abandoned bathrooms are incredibly gross. You now that little uh, washroom sink here looks a lot like the ones that were in my elementary school. That brings back memories. Is that a cork board? I can't even tell, it's so moldy and gross. You know, for being a building that's in good shape from the outside, it is actually disgusting in here. I think that's pretty much all of this first floor. The upstairs really isn't looking much better, is it? I wish I could tell you more about this place. Kind of sworn to secrecy for some of these KC locations. Office. Oh yeah, that's the office. Oh, that's a lot of office space, isn't it? Oh, look at that. There's names on here. This is one destroyed school. It's not even vandalism either. Like, it's just kind of falling apart because of the water. That's the worst thing that can happen to an abandoned place. Once it gets wet, it's just gonna deteriorate from there. Every one of these floors I've been on so far has been soaked and it hasn't even rained around here in a little while. So here's the main front desk. that. When that metallic ting happened, it sounded like I did this, but I, I'd never touched that thing, so that's kind of creepy. There's more cool paintings up here too, but it's it's been abandoned for so long it's just all peeling off. Okay, here's the first actual naturally lit room in here. Why are we so sad in a world designed to make us happy? There's just something about those doors all hanging open like that that is really eerie, actually. Computer lab. There goes my phone again. Every single video. Just listen to how deathly quiet it is in here. That's like perfect pitch quiet. Stage. Cool. Oh, sweet. Epic. Hey man, school with an auditorium is always perfectly okay in my book. Oh my God, look at the decay on these chairs. Here come the police. They freaking stopped. Why did they stop? Here come more. There's no reason they'd have their sirens on. If they're just coming for me. <sighs> you know what? I'll cross that bridge when I get there. And that'll be when I have to get back out of here. 
I've only been to three schools in my time that had auditoriums like this, but that's my favorite part about abandoned schools. Look at that. Underneath all this gross debris and rubble and melted ceiling tile, it's actually still carpet. See the colored lights up there? Like red, white, blue. Normally I'd like pose for an Instagram shot in one of these chairs, but these are all disgusting and rotten. So we're going to go ahead and skip that part today. I'm gonna to go ahead and move on. This is really cool though. I'm so glad it had this. I didn't think the school had an auditorium in it. All right, here's the third floor and this is the top floor. So I wanna take this time right now to thank some of the guys from the local Kansas City Urbex community for spending today with me. We went to a few places earlier. At least we tried to anyway. Some were duds, but we got into a couple. You guys are really cool. Thanks so much for getting in contact and hanging out with me for today. Uh, they wanna be, kinda remain, they kinda wanna remain anonymous, so I won't say their names, but you guys know who you are. I really appreciate it. Y'all are really chill. Is that moss growing in here? Look at the green, that shows up really well on camera. Third floor moss. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. That is right, I preach that all the time. Look at the layout here. Like, without this drop ceiling, cause it's all come down, you can tell the actual like architecture of this building. More counters, but over here, there's some really nice cupboards. Those would have been pretty nice back before they got ruined sitting in here. Look at that, found a hammer. The old chalkboards. Never mind the boards themselves, I really like how the old chalk tray is still here. A lot of the times you find those are already broken off. I guess no chalk was left behind. No one's been writing on these. These go to the roof. I don't think I'm gonna stand on this roof, but I'll peek out just to see what's up. This is hard to climb because I'm exhausted. Actually, you know what? There's room to stand up here. No one's really gonna see me. Pull off another one, fellas. At least I hope we did. All right, fellas, I went a little lap around this roof and there's no police around, so those sirens weren't for me, thankfully. All right, I'm getting off this roof before someone actually does see me. Now, this section's pretty cool, too. You can see all <laughs> over the roof of the school, at least over where the drop ceiling would be. Okay, these are some steep ones. Other than this room, a resource center. I think we've seen pretty much everything now. Although this room is kind of interesting. Got a little elevated stage area here. A big desk there. Yeah, this place just didn't stand a chance once water got in here. It's a shame, because it really does look in great shape if you just see the outside of it. It's an old remnants of a pencil sharpener. Well, that's pretty much that. Well, that's cool. It's an old wall clock. Well, I've seen it all. That didn't take too long. I guess it's time to see if I can get out of here. Oh yeah. I was gonna see if by some miracle these doors will open from in here. Let's try it. Holy crap. That's easy. All right, there we go. I'll shut it up again. We don't need this place getting attacked and vandalized. That's why I'm not even gonna show the front of it. You know what? That's a weight off my chest. I've had so many duds in the past two days, it just feels good to get one in. Even if it wasn't the most exciting school in the world. I did like that auditorium though. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.